Okay. So dreams are significant in the sense that they take you to levels. Okay. And those levels can serve several purposes. Um, it is a part of the surrendering process, uh, which is why simply going to sleep, putting yourself to sleep is so important because it enables you to get into levels where you can accomplish things that you could not accomplish at a human level. Uh, enables you to know things. It enables merges that are highly significant because those merges will be for shared connections. And <clears throat> this is when your higher self does take over. It's also really important to have the feel of things, like how things feel and not to be so tired from your day in and day out earthly life that you can't glean certain things pick up on information. This is a part of the tuning in. What do you observe? What do you see? Uh, is something being put in perspective for you? Are you giving a little taste of things to come, of how things truly are or truly will be? Is it resolving something for you? So it can be all of those topics and those can occur at different levels. As you dream it, you may notice that you go into different states within the night where you go into, say, a deeper slumber because you've accomplished whatever purpose that dream was serving. And also, you can feel that you come into a lower level. Now, there's also coming down through Earth's miasm, which is my mental miasm. It's like everybody's thoughts, their thought forms what they've been watching on television, the radio waves, the television waves, all of that stuff can um, actually distort some of your dreams as you descend back from certain levels. And even that can throw people off. And so your takeaways are the good byproducts of these dreams and just they enable you to discard whatever is no longer functional for you. You know, even if it's yourself, even if you're like, oh, I'm this, I see that I'm this way when this happens, um, you're actually upgrading your personality so that things are a lot smoother. Um, you attract and magnetize to yourself, you know, let's say the right friends, the right support people, the right coaches, people that will um, be there to assist you and make your life more enjoyable, um, better functioning, you could say, where, you know, there's sort of a seamless flow. People can um, not just, they're not really tapping into your mind, but there's like a pervasive heart energy where it seems like they're reading your mind, but it comes about even more magically where you could, it could be something as simple. One example is, one time I was wishing for banana bread and my mother showed up with it the very next day. And that's some, that's one of those um, types of um, small enjoyments and larger enjoyments of life and making your everyday living be a lot smoother, um, bringing sort of a, a nice glow to your everyday living and refreshing parts of yourself too, because it's not just your mind that gets refreshed. Um, this uh, also serves to sort of fill the tanks in various areas of your body so that you're being connected with love that continually keeps you energized, refreshed, replenishes you. So um, very significant part of surrendering. Thank you.